Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this floating button to your Blogger website. So here we can see we have this button and if I click on the button, we have these options displayed over here. And these are also links. So you can go ahead and click on these uh, options and go to that link. Now even if you scroll up or down, this button will stay over here. So in this video, I'll show you how to add this to your Blogger website. Now if you want to learn how to create this from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript, you can watch my previous video. I will leave the link in the description of this video and I will also leave the link of the source code. So let's get started. Alright here I have logged into my blogger dashboard and uh, now you can add this design to a specific post or a page. So for example if you want to add it inside this post you can just open this and first of all go to this button and click on HTML view and here you can add your code. So here you can create a style tag and in the style tag you can add the CSS and below that you can add the HTML and you can add the JavaScript inside a script tag. So in this way you can add this design to a particular post or a page. But let's go ahead and add this to the entire website. So I'll just delete this. So I'll just go back. So we're going to add this design to all the pages in our website. So for that you have to go over here to theme and uh, click on this arrow and click on edit HTML. And now here we need to add the code. So first of all let's add the CSS. So I'll just go to the source code. And let's go to the style.css file and let's copy this CSS from here. And uh, let's go back and let's find the CSS of the theme code. So here we can see this is the CSS of the theme code. So let's scroll down and let's go to the end. And this is where the CSS ends. So let's go ahead and paste our custom CSS. So just create a comment and let's type floating button. And let's paste the CSS over here. Right now let's go ahead and paste the HTML and the JavaScript. So let's scroll down and let's go to the end. Now since this design is fixed in a particular position, you can go ahead and add the code anywhere you want. So I just go ahead and add the code over here. And uh, let's go back to our source code. And let's go to the HTML file and uh, let's copy this HTML from here. And let's paste it over here. And now let's add the JavaScript. So I'll just create a script tag and let's go back to our source code and let's go to the main.js file and let's copy this JavaScript from here and let's paste it over here. Right now let's go ahead and save this and let's see how it looks. So let's open our website. So I just click on this visit blog button. And now here we can see that the button is not being displayed but if you scroll down here we have the button displayed and let's click on the button and when we click on the button nothing happens. So let's fix this problem. So first of all let's bring this button to the top. So we need to add a Z index to the button. So I'll just right click over here and go to inspect. Here we have the button. So let's go ahead and add a Z index. So I'll just type Z index and let's set it to let's try 400. And now we can see that the button is on top and now if we click on this button we have the options displayed but they are not displayed correctly so we need to fix that as well. So let's right click over here and go to inspect and here we have the option. Now for the option if you scroll down I think we have some CSS added by the theme itself. So here we can see in the theme we have the CSS added called word break and it is set to break word. So we need to change this to normal and now we can see that it looks alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this word break normal to the option and for the floating button we will add a Z index. So let's go back and let's go to the CSS. So here for the floating button let's go ahead and type Z index and let's set it to 400 and let's go to the option and here for the option let's type word break and let's set it to normal and let's click on save. Right now let's go back to our website and let's reload this page and now we can see we have this button displayed over here and if I click on that we have the options displayed. So everything is working alright. Now here you can add the links of your pages. So if you go back to your code and if you go to the HTML 
here we can see we have these options and here instead of these hash you can add the links of your pages so here you can add the link of the about page and here you can add the link of the blog page and so on and here is the icon that we see over here for this button so you can change the icon as well and you can also change the position of this button so let's go to the css so here in the css we can see that the position is set to top 100 pixels and right 100 pixels so here you can just type bottom and you can add any value you want over here i'll just keep it to 100 pixels and here instead of right let's type left so now this will be positioned to the bottom left corner so let's save this and let's go back to our website and let's reload this page and now we can see that the button is on the bottom left corner and uh, it is working all right so that's basically how you can add this floating button to your blogger website all right so that's basically it for this video i will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day Oh, 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 oh,